name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and hopefully this little video will have you in stitches. Stitches, you say? Yeah, see little stitches. I have here a example of the emulation of stitches on leather. So uh, one of the nicest things about uh, being in the position that I'm in is there's many, many people from all over the globe, really, that send me in requests for things that they would like to see done in CAD. And one of the requests was, uh, what would happen if I had a leather, like um, the leather that's around a shifter, or shifting mechanism, and I wanted to show how it was stitched together. And so I did this nice little example, and as you can see, there's the emulation of leather around this nice little shifter, and um, there's uh, emulation of the stitches that would hold it together. I think it's really an elegant look, and I'd like to share with you the little techniques that I used to do it. So, first things first, uh, what I started with was the actual shifter mechanism, which was very, very simple. I started with a sketch, as you can see. There you go, and I'm able to change the angle on this and the diameter, so on and so forth. And I used this one sketch to revolve some bodies, and I trimmed it. And so there you have it. That's the uh, very simple shifter. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted the leather to fit that shifter precisely. And so the next thing I did was go to the assemblies and go to the um, interpart links more and find the product interface. And then the product interface, I selected the geometry and I created <clears throat> an interface. I went into interface properties and I called it stick. Awesome. Then I said file new and I created a file called cover. So I'm going to call it cover two so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And in cover two, uh, the very first thing I did was say home more wave interface linker. And I go to that shifter and then I select the, um, the uh, interface that's in that and it comes in like that. Okay, great. So that's very, very easy. So next, um, I was at this stage. I'll say make current feature here. And so this uh, is uh, the shifter. Um, I did a datum axis uh, all down there. I did a point um, entity. I did a datum plane right there. And on the datum plane, I used that to uh, trim the body. I did an edge blend. Um, on the body and then I did a shell with a negative number and so that got me uh, a piece of geometry that basically covers the entire uh, base of the shifter so when you do a shell with a negative number it's really a strange kind of uh, uh, thought process that you go through but it's uh, basically uh, adds a coating if you will um, then I did an extrude to this uh, top piece and a bunch of blends like that and then I had the basic shape of the leather that I'm emulating uh, next I did two split bodies um, and so with the split bodies you can see that I have these sections now four different sections for the that are emulating the leather and I did an extract region don't even remember why let's see Oh yes, I did an extract region because I wanted to show that you can flatten and, and uh, flatten that outside face to see um, a pattern for what the leather would look like. So um, I was just demonstrating the fact that you could actually do that. So I extracted this outside surface and then I did a flattening and forming to show what the pattern would be to actually make that in real life. Fun. So let's see, then this out of the way, this. Um, then I edge blended all the sections. So there they are. Um, this is now the basic shape of that the leather would take um, if I made this beautiful leather covering for the shifter. So next I wanted to show <clears throat> what it would look like if we had stitched these two things or these four sections together and I really wanted to emulate the actual thread and how it would cross over each other. So 
Um, what I needed was a curve. So I used the virtual curve creation tool, virtual curve, and there is a virtual curve. So the virtual curve is the um, intersection of this nice surface and the flat surface. And so that's the curve that goes in between these two fillets, virtual curve. Now I knew the virtual curve would have segments, segments that were commensurate with this surface and this surface and this surface, and that surface. And I thought that those segments might interfere with what I was going to do next. And so I used the composite curve technique to make one nice curve out of all of that. When you do a composite curve, if you go to curve and you go to the composite curve functionality, you can see that in the settings, you can have the curves join into a general spline all as one and you could hide the original and so those are two options that I that I uh, appreciate and enjoy the fact that you could hide the original and then you get a composite curve and all the other stuff goes away great then the neat thing about one of the neat things about NX is the helix command gives you the ability to put a helix all along a curve so when you go to the helix command you can specify a long spine so that's what I did. I made a helix. Here it is. There's that. Okay, so that was like <clears throat> a right-handed helix with a certain pitch and a certain diameter. Let's see what it was. So the, um, <clears throat> the, the uh, actually I used a radius of three millimeters and a pitch of 10 with 28 turns and it's a right-handed helix. And so that looks like uh, somebody Kind of stitched it together but the stitching is too round see it sticks up from the surface too much um, and i dealt with that a little later um, but then i did a left-handed helix with the same pitch and the same uh, radius so now that's looking more like stitches okay but the stitches are too high off the surface of the leather so i needed something to force them to be flatter and nicer. And so what I did next was I, um, at the end of that drive curve, I created a elliptical sketch. See the little ellipse? And I swept that ellipse, the current feature, along the drive curve. And then I projected those helices I think that's the plural of helix, onto that elliptical surface. So the ellipse, when I, when I did the sweep, I did it as a sheet body. That's just a shell. And then these uh, stitches, not stitches, these helixes, helices are projected, and they're projected along surface normals. So there you have it. I've got the helixes, the helices, well, I don't know, <laughs> funny word, helices projected onto the um, elliptical surface that is swept all along the intersection curve or that um, curve that's from the extract virtual curve. That's what it is. When you extract a virtual curve, you can get it from a virtual intersection. That's what I use. Okay. Extract virtual curve. All right. So next, I did a tube, a series of tubes on those projected curves. So let's control W here. Let's uh, hide the sheet body. Let's hide the curves, all of that. And let's show the tube, make current feature. So there's a tube that follows the helix that's been projected onto the um, elliptical swept surface. And for some reason, it wouldn't do the whole thing. So I had to do it in sections. Make current feature, make current feature, current feature. Okay, so there's what it looks like when you stitch this leather together. Isn't that fantastic? Looks great. Next, I patterned it, current feature, and since this uh, set of stitches were longer than everything else, you could see that they went too far. Uh, and so then I trimmed them all, trimmed them down. And there you have it. I had a nice looking little cover with the stitches. And of course, that is the 
uh, component cover and I threw it into the assembly. So there's the assembly with the shifter and the cover and all the beautiful stitches. That was fun, especially because it was a request from a person who is um, doing something similar. And um, it's wonderful to share these techniques. I've always said the thing about NX is it has so many fantastic abilities that when you want to emulate geometry, there's almost an infinite, well, there is an infinite combination of things that you could put together, these techniques that really give you a great benefit. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. I hope you appreciated this video. Please like it, share it, share it with a thousand of your closest friends and have a wonderful time modeling. Thank you very much.